okay, one of the first things we want to do when we get to the river, have a look for insect life, and we're going to take the temperature. This determines largely how soon the caddisflies are going to be on the water, and also whether we're in the optimum range for feeding for trout. Wow, what a beautiful morning, 61 degrees. That means the caddis are going to be active, and the trout are going to find this temperature perfect. It's going to be yeah, to their liking. Yeah, we're just about optimum for trout feeding, aren't we? Absolutely perfect. We're going to have a great day. Yeah, that's good. That's good. There are times when it's important to have a free-floating or drag-free drift. This can be obtained by using the men when the line lands on the water. Try and make the fly float at the same speed as the bubbles on top of the water. Okay, what I was using was an olive caddis, and I was dead drifting it. I've seen a fish come up a couple of times, and what I'm going to try to do here is get, get the line on the reel. I've seen the fish come up a couple of times, and he looked at it twice, so I just kept persevering and putting it over him, and he finally came up and took it. Now, when a fish takes a dry fly, you must give it a second to turn around and move down with the, with the fly to set the hook. And I think we're going we're gonna to net this one. Good fish. Okay. Yeah. How big was your caddis? And there we go. How big was the caddis, Bill? He took a little olive caddis, yes. Small, 18? Uh, yeah, about an 18, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, there's an average fish in this area. Nice little brown. Hi, I'm Mark Melnick. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe today. Now we're putting up brand new videos all the time. So if you want to be notified when a new one goes up, click that bell icon and it'll come to you as soon as it's uploaded.